Hey everybody, it's the Podhead Professor here with all of your cannabis knowledge needs. Today, we're going to be doing another episode of Terpene Tuesday. Today, we're going to be taking a look at my personal favorite terpene, terpinaline. Now, terpinaline uh, does have a very unique scent. Just by smelling a strain, I could probably tell you if it's particularly high in terpinaline. It has a bit more of a complex scent compared to some other terpenes. It's a little bit floral, a little bit fruity, a little bit herbaceous. For me personally, it all melds together into something that's very bright, very clean, very sharp and sweet. This bright and fresh aroma has also led to terpinaline being used in soaps and perfumes. Other than the cannabis plant, terpinaline can also be found in plants like tea tree, nutmeg, cumin, and apples. Now, as for the feeling terpinaline imparts, it is once again more of a complex kind of feeling. Right off the bat, it brings in a very energized, uplifting mood, uh, something that makes me at least more talkative, a bit more social. It definitely feeds those kind of creative juices in the brain. But as you smoke more of it, it invokes a more calming and sedate sort of relaxation, easing of pain and stress. So something that kind of as you're coming down from your high, you're going to settle into a very easy and relaxed sort of state. This variety of feeling has a lot to do with what other terpenes terpinaline is found with. So if it's found with something like linalool, it's going to really promote that more relaxing, more sedate kind of feeling that you get. Whereas if you combine it with something like limonene or pinene, you're going to get more of that energizing and social kind of feeling. Now, I find that no matter what other terpenes are involved, for me at least, terpinaline always gives me that little bit more social, little bit more creative kind of mind. So it kind of opens up those mind connections. But as far as where it's taking my body versus energized versus more sedate, I can see where the variety of terpenes it's mixed with can really affect me that way. Now, as far as the medical side of terpinaline, uh, like many other terpenes, it has very good antimicrobial, antifungal, antibacterial properties. There is also research that suggests it can repel bugs and pests like mosquitoes. There's also been research to show terpinaline can ease things like restless leg syndrome, insomnia, hypertension, anxiety, and even panic attacks. And a cell culture study of terpinaline demonstrated that it could actually promote wound healing by reducing inflammation and oxidative stress on the wound, thus allowing us to heal faster. There is also some preliminary research out there looking into terpinaline's potential at fighting heart disease. It does this by preventing low-density lipoproteins from oxidizing, basically preventing the buildup of plaque on your heart, thus easing the stress on the organ. And once again, like many other terpenes, there is also research looking into its ability to inhibit the growth of cancer cells. So with wide ranging benefits from something as simple as social anxiety to cancer and heart disease, terpinaline has a lot of benefits that we should really be doing some more research on. Like I said, it is one of my absolute favorite terpenes when found in the cannabis plant. This has a lot to do with the flavor it imparts. It makes some of the most delicious strains I know of. It's found in very high amounts in many pineapple strains uh, that I've found, and it does impart that sort of more tart, sweet, juicy pineapple goodness sometimes. Uh, but of course, I also like the sociability that it gives me. Uh, it helps me overcome some of my own social anxieties and just talk a lot more, which is something I don't find much in other strains of cannabis. Uh, sometimes it'll make me a little more introspective, but uh, terpinaline is very good for social situations and creativity and things like that. So certainly, if you've got any more questions about this terpene, please put them in the comments. I will do my very best to answer them. Or if you know any information about terpinaline that I may have skipped over, please inform me. I'm always looking to learn as much as I can about this incredible plant. But until next time, take it easy, everybody. <laughs>